Ha! What's up, Rebels? What's up, Pride Crew? Here, Sunday Walk and Talk with Idiot One and Gimpy, Idiot Two. Uh, how's Ellie doing? Well, the tumor on her shoulder is very large now, and uh, unfortunately, we don't really know how much time Smelly Ellie has left with us, but uh, it's starting to be a little difficult for her to get around, so. Here's hoping for the best, and we've got a few more months with her, but uh, you know, the, the reality is she's, uh, I think she's starting to go downhill a little bit. So, very sad, but uh, that's the circle of life, right? We love her to death, and she loves us, and that's all that matters. We cherish the time that we've had with her, and it's all we can do. So, uh, Sunday walk and talk. Uh, training, gym, life, how's everything going? Um, been producing a decent amount of videos uh, for the gym and the YouTube channel. Uh, hope uh, you know all of our videos are going well. And there she is, catching up. Um, trying to do a rowing video uh, series, five-part series on rowing technique. Uh, it's going well. We have uh, the man in the red hooded sweatshirt being beaten at the beginning of every rowing video. We're having fun with that. Um, what else? Uh, speaking of rowing, uh, we're actually working on a uh, rowing program. Uh, I've got uh, one of my guys wants to compete up at the Crash Bees uh, indoor rowing competition up in Boston next year. So we're doing some training for that and I've been working on a, a program uh, to then publish and uh, put out on Amazon for a book. So I've been working on that program and starting to write the book. Uh, then Lindsay comes to me, says we need to write a book for uh, conditioning, uh, cardio and conditioning for power lifters. So we're starting to work on that program and uh, starting to write that book. So uh, the rowing program should be out sometime around Thanksgiving, I bet. Uh, and hopefully the conditioning for power lifters should be out sometime around uh, December, I think. So that's going on. Uh, next week is World Championships, uh, Kettlebell World Championships in Latvia. And unfortunately, I will not be there uh, due to my back injury from this summer. Still recovering from that and uh, working on getting better. But, uh, you know, it's a, this recovery is a very, very, very long road on this injury. So um, doing good on uh, my recovery. Uh, deadlift is back up in the 300s, uh, pretty much pain free. I'm almost pain free, you know, in the morning when I get up and, you know, I start going to the gym, going to work, but, uh, I think I got, uh, still a little bit of ways to go before I'm a hundred percent, uh, another month or two, uh, getting ready for, uh, hosting our uh, triathlon uh, competition next month in November. So if you are interested and you wanna do all three lifts, this is the place to do it. Charlotte, uh, should be November 10th. So getting ready to host that after we just hosted uh, 365 powerlifting meet last month. Uh, and then uh, we're hosting a USPA meet, North Carolina Championships next year in March. And we're looking at some strongman competitions to host. So it uh, should be some big stuff coming up for us. What else is going on? Oh, we've got uh, two lifters, I think, who are uh, getting ready for 365 uh, World. So that meet is coming up uh, this month. This is in October. They think they've got, uh, I think they get two more weeks to get ready for that meet. So uh, that should be Tara and Jen getting ready for that one. It was good, uh, will be good. And I know uh, those, those two ladies have hit some uh, serious PRs in their lifts. They can just about lift as much as me at this point in time, which is amusing, but we are uh, super proud of them. And I'm not a power lifter, I'm an endurance athlete, so it's okay. I laugh about it, but you know, deep down inside, you know, you get a little ego crush there. 
It's okay though. Uh, so that's going on. Lindsay's uh, recovery with her back. We've actually, both of us have been seeing a physical therapist that um, is a client and friend of ours at the gym. And, you know, she took a look at both of us and she's really helped. Uh, she's helped both of us out quite a bit, especially Lindsay. Uh, she gave her a lot of rehab work to do. And uh, I think she's, she's definitely on the road to recovery now. Um, you know, it's been a year since her injury, a uh, year and a half almost. So, uh, you know, it's just patience. And that right there is the word that I really wanted to talk about. So, you know, every week before I turn the video camera on, I'm like, what do I want to talk about this week? Usually the Sunday walk and talk is very, um, very off the cuff usually not like rehearsed at all. The Monday motivations, you know, I, I kind of, I kind of have a plan for those, but, uh, the Sunday walk and talks is just, you know, Hey, well, what should I talk about? I just got done watching a video with, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk and he talks about how he's always amused that, uh, fitness professionals, uh, you know, they take care of their bodies and they're so scheduled and regimented and disciplined. And they know that, you know, getting uh, what you want to your goals of, you know, uh, physique and, you know, being able to lift a certain amount of weight, that those goals, they, they take a really long time and you just gotta be super dedicated to it. And then they look to, the fitness pros, they, they go to Gary Vee and they're like, hey, how do I get big on Instagram overnight? <laughs> and he's like, nah, man, it doesn't fucking work like that. You got to be patient and you got to be dedicated and you got to be regimented and scheduled. And it's exactly the same. So, you know, it's just funny because people walk into the gym and, you know, they're, they're overweight and they're out of shape. They haven't done shit in years. And... <laughs> They think that in like six weeks, we're gonna transform them into these, uh, you know, superhuman robots. And it's, it's just amusing because, man, it's a, it's a war of attrition. And, uh, you know, this year the gym passed nine years. So next year will be our 10th year in business. And in Charlotte, there are only a handful of gyms who have been open and successful for 10 years. And I am one of them. So how, how did I do it? Patience, dedication, being regimented, staying on a schedule. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. You know, we have a, uh, we have a sweatshirt at the gym that we sell that is a quote from Winston Churchill. And the quote is, um, confidence is going from failure to failure without any loss of motivation. And that is exactly how I have run my business. It's how I've been in kettlebell. You know, I've had injuries. We've had all sorts of setbacks and that's how we do it. You know, you go from failure to failure. We try not to fail, but it does happen. But the big lesson there, again, is just patience, dedication, being regimented, and being scheduled. And that's the, that's the key to longevity, and that's the key to success in anything, uh, especially in fitness and especially in marketing. So that's it. That's all that I got for you guys. As you can see, the, uh, the light has seriously faded from my video, so my video kind of looks like shit right now, but it's all right. You guys still get the point. So that's it, guys. I'm back home with the dogs. Time to feed everybody and relax for the rest of this Sunday night. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.